recap here on Play on GA of round five. Let's go. So the first game was Leash 2-13, Waterford 1-5. Back to winning ways for Leash, of course, after they were beaten by Wicklow last week. Owen Lowry was fantastic in this game. He hit 2-6 as Leash got back to winning ways, as I said. For Waterford, it's another defeat. There's not too much to say about it. I never expected them to win this game. Leash are simply too strong for them. And yeah, it proved to be a pretty comfortable victory for Leash in the end. Speaking of Wicklow... They made it back-to-back -back wins, beating Leitrim by 15 points to 1-9, and they did it in really dramatic circumstances. Again, they hit the last six. Sorry, they hit the last six points of the game to stun Leitrim and take the win. Leitrim looked like they were cruising to victory. They'd got that goal. Andy Moore inside were in comfortable position, and then Wicklow just decided no, hit the last six points and stole the victory. And now, having beaten Leitch and Leitrim back to back. All of a sudden, Wicklow are looking like a dark horse for promotion. Like they've taken out a side there in Leitrim, who would be one of their direct rivals for that second promotion spot. Another team that will definitely be a rival to Wicklow for that second promotion spot is Sligo. They beat Wexford by a goal and 22, three goals and eight. Sean Carabine with seven points and Pat Spillane with the goal for Sligo as they got a six-point win. For Wexford, the goals came from John Turbot, Keen Murphy and Niall Murphy. But the goals from the Murphys came late in the game and they were nothing more really than a consolation. The last game then in Division 4 saw Carlo go away to Roy Slip and beat London by 13 points to 9. And this is a good victory for Neil Carew's side. Like as I've said plenty of times on the channel here on Play on GA, that London game is tricky. And London never get beaten by more than six points. They always drag you into a battle. They always make it tough, um, especially in the league. And for Carlo to go away there and to take the victory, you know, it's a definite banana skin of a game. So it's a definite positive for Neil Crew that they got through it. They went seven points to four up at halftime and they never trailed in the game again. London simply couldn't get ahead of them. Carlo did a very professional job on them. 